Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. The victim was shot by a suspect wielding an AK-47. Eyewitness News reporter David Spun is at police headquarters tonight with more. David. Yuki, an AK-47 in the middle of the day. Kids were around just really a few hundred feet away from this entire situation. Police put out this video hoping to find the suspect. This white Lexus has not moved since Saturday when it suddenly became part of a crime scene. The owner, Mike Pong, is seen here washing the car Saturday afternoon around 1.30 when a man holding a loaded AK-47 came up and shot him in the hip. Pong fell to the ground. He's been in three surgeries so far. Uh, he does have a rip to his femoral artery and they have a tough time controlling the bleeding. The shooter ran off and is still on the run from police. We know he still has that gun and could potentially use it again against somebody else in the community. Police Lieutenant John Walker says Pong did not know the shooter and was just randomly attacked while washing his car. Neighbors say Mr. Pong is well liked. He's a good guy and we miss him and I hope he get well. Please look out, you know what I mean? He do what he's supposed to do for his family. 50 year old Pong owns this corner store at 54th and Spruce and it was his own surveillance camera that picked up the shooting. A shooting that's left him fighting for his life. These guns are killing machines. I mean, there's no doubt about it. They're meant to do one thing and that's kill people. Now, detectives believe that the suspect, the shooter in this case, lives in that neighborhood because after all, they said they did not receive one call about a person with a gun. Any information, give police a call. Mr. Pong right now in critical condition. You can remain anonymous if you do call police. Reporting live tonight, David Spun, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.